वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियर यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू गाइड यू फॉर हाउ टू कैलकुलेट क्वांटिटी ऑफ स्टील इन आरसीसी कॉलम इफ यू वांट टू बिल्ड योर हाउस एंड यू डोंट नो दैट हाउ मच स्टील इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर वन आरसीसी कॉलम इनसाइड योर हाउस इफ यू हैव 20 नंबर्स ऑफ कॉलम्स और ट्वेंटी नंबर्स इवन ट्वेल्व नंबर ऑफ कॉलम्स सो देन यू आर एबल टू फाइंड एजी estimation of steel in rcc columns then you can bring from the market so this is the topic related calculation of steel reinforcement if you are new on this channel so you may subscribe this channel you, if you have already subscribed the channel so you may like this video because this is very interesting you, video for you people first of all guys for the size of 9 by 9 inch column guys you can see this is column and this is concrete cover okay inside this guys you can see this is ring or you can say this is tie inside this we have four numbers of steel rods next guys you can see let me focus the camera first okay guys if you see this is at section in this section guys you can see uh, these are uh, this these red lines can show you the steel reinforcement guys you can see here so here we have four numbers of bars the dia is 12 mm 1 2 3 4 numbers of bars guys you can see these are lateral ties the dia is 8 mm with the spacing of 150 mm or 6 inches center to center first of all i will guide you for given data we have this given data from this you can find the uh, calculation of steel okay or estimation of steel the size of column is 9 by 9 inches or you can say 225 mm by 225 mm this is size of column we have four numbers of bars dia is 12 mm stirrups dia is 8 mm with the spacing of 150 mm center to center height of column is 3.6 m leg length is 300 mm or 0.3 m this is called leg which length is 0.3 m okay hooks length is 75 mm or 0.075 m which is here this one so this is called hook or let me make it like this this is called hook each hook length is 0.075 m or 3 inches or you can say 75 mm it should not be less than this okay now let me convert it to the first page okay this is the first page guys you can see how to find length of one bar longitudinal bar first of all i required one length of one bar it means this one this one or this one we have four numbers so length of one bar is height of column plus leg length height of column this one which you can see 3.6 meter plus leg length which is 0.3 meter so you can see here height of column plus leg length 3.6 plus 0.3 so the length of or the height of the column uh, steel reinforcement longitudinal bar length is 3.9 meter therefore total length of longitudinal bar is length of one bar multiply 4 that's why because we have four longitudinal bars look at here four bars so multiply 4 so 3.9 multiply 4 so we required 15.6 meter length of longitudinal bars next length of one stirrup now guys this is stirrup so length of one stirrup this one how you can find it so total length of lang uh, so length of one stirrup size of column minus two side concrete cover guys you can see two side concrete cover this side and this side two side concrete cover multiply four sides that's why because here this is lateral tie okay so this is not stirrup this is ties length of ties okay so guys you can see the one tie how we will find the length so therefore size of column minus or subtract two sides concrete cover multiply four numbers plus two hooks length guys you can see these are two hooks length inside this guys you can see clearly so therefore guys is equal 0.225 meter size of column which is 0.225 meter which i have already discussed here 
0.225 because this is 225 millimeter so when you convert it to the meter 0.225 meter so 0.225 meter minus 2 into 25 that's why because 25 is concrete cover one inch therefore multiply four because we have four sides inside this two are hooks multiply 75 millimeter let me show you here 75 millimeter so 75 millimeter you can convert to the uh, 75 0 point, uh, 0 point, uh, uh, one five zero. you can get the value from there also look at here 0 point 0.075 okay so when you convert it to the meter so therefore guys 2025 and 2 2 multiply 25 so this is 50 millimeter so 50 millimeter convert to the meter 0 0.050 multiply 4 4 numbers we have plus guys you can see here plus 0 0.15 0 0.15 meter or 15 centimeter or 150 millimeter is the length of two hooks one hook is 75 millimeter two is 150 millimeter it means 0 0.15 meter so therefore when you do its calculation so you will get the value the length of one hook is 0 0.726 meter got it now guys let me show you total numbers of stirrups so how to find total numbers of knot stirrups so i'm sorry for this ties lateral ties okay so total height of longitudinal bar divided by spacing so what is the spacing spacing of stirrups guys you can see the spacing of stirrups are 150 millimeter or 0 0.15 meter 0 0.15 meter you can say uh, 0 0.15 meter yes uh, of course okay so therefore 3.6 this is the the height of the column our height of the longitudinal bar is divided by 0 0.0 0 0.15 centimeter uh, meter so you will get total 29 24 numbers of stirrups therefore weight of longitudinal bars 4 multiply 3.9 3.9 is the weight of longitudinal bar first of all uh, so i required the length so the length is 15.6 so therefore uh, now guys you can see here uh, to find the weight of bar so 15.6 multiply 0 0.88 kg this is uh, the unit weight of steel so if you do its calculation so you can find weight of steel weight of steel is equal d square divided by 162 so d square when you do its calculation so let me put it here 12 multiply 12 divided by 162 you will get 0 0.88 kg per meter this is for one meter so this is 15.6 meter is the total longitudinal bar length multiply unit weight for 12 millimeter you can get this from this formula so we required 13.72 kgs or say 14 kg steel is required for this column so if you have 15 numbers of columns or 20 numbers then you can multiply with 14 because one uh, longitude so for one column longitudinal bar weight is this okay now weight of stirrups are ties sorry for stirrups okay so 0 0.76 0 0.726 actually this is the uh, actually here guys you can see this is the length of one stirrup let me show you here ties not stirrup 0 0.7 0 0.726 so 0 0.726 multiply 24 numbers we have total so the total length is 17.42 meter so therefore guys 17.42 and multiply unit weight of steel which is 8 millimeter guys you can see here this is the ties uh, dia is 8 millimeter let me show you here where we have the stirrup dia or little tie dia this is 8 millimeter okay so therefore guys you can see clearly this is the unit weight because if you do calculation so d square divided by 162 so therefore 8 multiply 8 divided by 162 so you will get the value 0 0.395 kgs per meter okay so therefore this is the total weight of stirrups so say 7 kg so plus total weight of steel so 14 kg for longitudinal bar especially for one column plus 7 so we require 21 kg of steel so now 21 kg steel is for this column so if you have 20 columns 24 columns 30 columns 10 columns you will get the total weight of steel guys this is the easy way to find how to calculate quantity of steel in rcc column thanks for watching see you in next video
goodbye